Welcome to Curie Electronics. So in this video we are going to learn about how to use XOR gate for parity checking. Parity. We have two types of parity that is odd and even. Let's see some examples. 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 0. What is the parity of this this byte byte of data? That is that means how many number of ones are there? That is 2, 4, 5. So 5 number 5 is odd. So it is odd parity. Odd parity. One more example. One zero one zero one 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 zero. In this byte of data, what is the parity? Is it even parity or odd parity? One, two, so five. This is also odd parity. Odd parity means odd number of ones that can be 1, 3, 5, 7, like that. Then let us take uh, one more example that is 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. What is the parity? This is odd parity or even parity. So here we have four ones that is number 4 is even. So this is even parity. The last example, 1, 0, 1, 0. This is, what is the parity? This is a, a nibble. Nibble means 4 bits. So this also even parity. Now we understood what you mean by parity. Ne, digital data, what do you mean by parity? It can be a nibble, it can be a byte or it can be a word like that. Now, what is the use of this XOR gate in this parity? Now, we want to send 4-bit information. We are going to transmit and receive this 4-bit information. 4-bit information means what are the combinations we can have A, B, C, D. So, 0, 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. It can go up to 1, 1, 1, 1. This, this is going to be the input. Now, I want to send one parity bit with this. How do I generate that parity bit? For that, we make use of XOR gate. A, B, C, D and this output will give to one more XOR gate. So this output is the parity bit that is e is the output now let's take one uh, one group of data we are sending our initial data that is 0 0 and c and d are also 0 0 uh, what is the output when for an xor gate when inputs are same we'll get output as low or 0 so this is also going to be 0. That means our, now E also I am going to send. So instead of 4 bit, instead of sending 4 bit data, I will send 5 bit data. 
The last one is the parity bit. Now what about if the if the data I am sending is 0, 0, 0, 1. 0, 0, 0, 1 is the data I am sending. Then what is going to be the parity? So here it is going to be 1 and this is 0. So parity is going to be 1. So when I receive the data, I can check what, whether the received data is having odd number of ones or even number of ones. Now what about, now I think you can try it yourself check to check it out. Now uh, this is how the parity bit is generated. Now, what, what what is actually a parity bit, and what are the what, why do we use this parity bit? This parity bit we use. This parity bit also known as check bit. Parity bit or check bit. This parity bit also known as check bit, and this is used for error detection. Okay, used for error detection error detection and not for correction okay not for error correction only error detection and we can detect only one bit error one bit error one bit error now let's see one uh, we have sent let uh, let us assume that we we have sent one 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 data and the parity bit also what is the parity bit parity bit is going to be zero for that we have seen here see for even number of ones we will get parity zero. Let's take one more example. This example will take it here. That is, we are giving all inputs one one. So here output is going to be zero zero. So parity bit also going to be zero. So for even parity, we will transmit zero. That is what here I have mentioned. This is the even parity. Now what happened when the data transmitted transmitted through the medium due to some noise these first two ones got changed to zero the remaining data remains remaining one one zero remains same then what happens see two bits are changed and we can't detect the error so this is the drawback of this parity bit parity bit checking but this is used for simple error detection. So now we got, I hope you got the idea about the parity bit, parity bit or check bit. If you like the video, please share with your friends and don't forget to hit the like button. And thanks for watching.